time is it? Your turn. No, it's your turn. It's your turn, Al. It's Wednesday, isn't it? Thursday, honey. Oh. All right. This is a story of a need, a city's need for an essential food, milk. The story begins every day against a landscape like this. To get its milk, the city reaches out to its New England countryside. It is 5 a.m. now up in the country. The city needs a million quarts daily. It comes from farms like this one, 13,000 of them and 200,000 cows like these. What you are now watching is a silent battle to keep milk farm to the consumer's doorstep. To do it means keeping all operations as automatic as possible. means bringing up calves properly. As the farmer puts it, it takes good feed and plenty of it. You can't make milk out of straw. Awaiting transfer to country receiving stations, the milk is kept in coolers. Its temperature lowered below 40 degrees to protect its quality. But a new way is the bulk tank method. Milk is poured into a refrigerated tank. At pickup time, it is pumped into a tank truck and hauled directly to a city plant. The cows on pasture, the barn is sprayed to control the flies. Today's dairy cows, better bred and better handled than their ancestors, yield a richer milk and 25% more of it. So, and the milk is on its way from farms to receiving stations. must be kept moving in all kinds of weather. 8 a.m., Enfield, New Hampshire. The milk coming in steadily to this receiving station and to a hundred others like it in six New England states and New York State. The station keeps a quality record of every farmer's milk and sends samples to the laboratory in the city plant. Trained workers with years of experience check the quality and flavor of every can. Substandard milk is rejected. There's the tide of milk rising toward a million quarts. The station manager, Maynard, has his worries. Floods, snowstorms, truck breakdowns, delays, always something. Cans are washed and sterilized before being returned to the farmers. Enfield's quota is coming in on time, but not without a small difference of opinion. Hey, you better can and milk all right, right. Yeah, don't understand it, man. Milk machine rubber's all right? Sure, I washed every day. How about your cooling? Cooling all right. Milk's not all right to me. Ah, your nose is off, man. Nothing know. wrong with my nose. You sure? Right. Perhaps I better send Roy up this afternoon. Well, if you want to, all right. Hey, man, here to look. Well, that's someone's problem. <laughs> How about that steak dinner you're going to invite me Which to? one of your cows you're going to kill. 
This tank car will be filled during the morning. It will carry 32,000 quarts, enough for 10,000 families. The company wants high quality, low bacteria count. Between farmer and city plant, that's the station manager. Between country and city, constant communication. Maynard calls in his morning report. milk, the city has created a network of feeder lines along rails and roads that converge. For other cities like Hartford, Providence, Worcester, Portland, and Springfield, the network is smaller, the supply coming from nearby farms. The web is bigger or smaller depending on the size and needs of the community. clock in the afternoon now. The milk is moving down stations which have no rail sidings, moving by tank trucks that hold up to 14,000 quarts. Moving direct in smaller tank trucks. Bulk pickup, they call it. What will happen to it when it reaches the city plant? Let us visit the plant to see. It will surge like this through the piping of the plant. You might say a continuous pipeline runs down from the farm to the city and through the plant. And every day the tide in the big receiving tanks rising to a million quarts. Pipe to tank, pipe again. Forward through the pasteurizing coils. Heated to 162 degrees as it goes. Cooled to under 40 and always moving forward. Pasteurize and then check for perfect position. Three thousand samples a day are tested in the company's laboratories. Only a million tests a year. Tests for butter fat, for bacteria, for flesh. The quality standards which this plant has set for itself are superior even to the standards required by city or state. To farmer, every receiving station, every incoming tank truck and tank car. Check every plant employee once a week to be sure they are healthy. A modern plant is a continuous system of pipes, valves, machines, and conveyors. Check for flaws in the bottles and then double check them through the magnifier.
They line up as if they know what they're doing. But it takes men to direct the flow of milk. This man is opening and closing three-way valves on a grid of pipes called the header. It works like a switchboard with different lines. Nine different products. Milk first, of course, but also buttermilk, flavored drinks, cream, and others can flow through the header at the same time, each to its individual bottling machine. and ready for delivery. And that's how today's million quarts go out to the city. 5 p.m. And here's the first of tomorrow's million quarts coming in. Five p.m. at the Enfield station. And Maynard's day is over but the milk keeps moving. At country stations like this one, the engines are picking up the loaded tank cars on the sidings, moving them toward the city. It happens every evening about this time, toward dusk. And while they move to junction points to be assembled, let's go back again to the plant in the city. Cleanup time now, but a very special kind. Cleanliness and good housekeeping must be more thorough than in the cleanest kitchen. Cleanliness, a milk plant's insurance for quality standards. working from 4 p.m. to midnight, with pressured hot water exploring every piece of equipment. A milk plant is taken apart, torn down, dismantled, not once a year, but once a day. pieces laid out. A jigsaw torn down and put together once every day. Water heated to the boiling point surges through the piping, sterilizing as it goes. And that's how they get ready for the new supply of milk that is now on its way down by rail. 10.40 p.m. and coming down on the main lines. Milk on trains 5,500, 16, and 62 up to Boston and Maine and other trains. This is the caboose on 352, a milk train nearing Concord.
Sometimes the flow of milk toward the city is delayed. It can be a flood, snow, or fog. It can be personnel or it can be equipment. This time it's a hot box on the car from Enfield. something happens to block the milk pipeline to the city, men go into action. Hello, Conkin. Hello. Mr. Conductor, 320 at Nashua. Yeah? We got a hot box on GPEX 914. We're going to set it off on the King's Spur. Oh, okay, thank you. Milk station? Where's it set out? You got to change the wheels? Well, you better get a crew out and get working on it right away, because we'll have to get that car in on 302. Hello? He's in the shower right now. Could I take the message, please? All right, just a minute. Dad, it's for you. Jack Sullivan, it's important. Can you hold on a minute, Jack? He's on his way. All right, Jack, what's up? Which car is it and where? That's a great A car, Jack. We're very anxious to get it. Well, can you get it on 302? Well, that's fine. I'll be hearing from you. 1 a.m. They nursed the train into Concord, uncoupled the car, and put an emergency night crew to work. Had it been lumber, radios, or steel beams, it could wait, but not milk. Milk must move. Where do we stand? How you feeling tonight, Joe? Don't change the subject. Where do we stand? Like I told you, the night crew's working hard on it now. Listen, Jack, that's a full carload of grade A milk, and we must have it on train 302. Relax. I said we'd move the car. I'm relaxed. Just get it on that train. Stop worrying. We'll do it. Who's worrying? And in the meanwhile, the city sleeps, certain that morning will bring sunrise, hot coffee, and a bottle of milk on the breakfast table as usual. And the night of the city unwinds, normal in all respects, preparing for morning, taking tomorrow for granted. in the morning at Concord. Here's 302, a passenger train out of Montreal pulling in. She'll pull out in a moment, carrying one dining car, two sleepers, three coaches, and Yes, one milk tank car this morning. One tank car, 32,000 quarts. Milk for 10,000 families.
It isn't easy to get a million quarts of milk rolling down to the city once a day, but it rolls. One way or another, they keep it coming. One way or another, it'll be there in the morning. An everyday event, routine, like sunrise. the Enfield car to complete today's quota. Milk for the city. A million quarts a day. Every day. Routine like sunrise. Milk for the breakfast tables up on the hill and for all the houses along all the city streets. Milk for the hospitals and hotels and restaurants. For the factories and ships tied up in the harbor. Milk for the lunch hour crowd out of the shops and offices. A need to be met. Milk, pure and fresh. A million quarts today, again tomorrow, and the day after. A need to be met and the need answered every day.